What is happening? Welcome back to the Pass Alive. Thank you all for tuning in tonight as we rip into a brand new mystery box, at least brand new to me. It is titled The Giving Back Mystery Pack, and it's a pretty good size box here. And apparently this is a Series 2 box, and they made 41 boxes for this series. This is hand number 23 of 41. So this is created by a guy named Aaron F. I don't, I'm not going to disclose his last name or anything else, but he reached out, asked me if I'd showcase this. I love to do that, um, especially for a cause like this one. Giving back in the title, Aaron makes generous contributions with every sale of each box. I'm going to get into that here in a minute, but I want to showcase some other things he sent along too. We're going to rip into this. I'll probably last, honestly. Aaron sent along two more packs, but this is going to be a uh, preview of what's to come. This is the slab pack. One slab, one pack, one auto relic. We'll get into that also in a minute. And he also sent a thank you pack here. It says, feel free to sell, give away, or light on fire. <laughs> so we'll, we will, uh, we'll check that out probably first. But before we do any of that, let's get into the notes. And we can discuss uh, exactly what we have going on here. So thanks again for sending these, Aaron. I love to open mystery boxes and feature them on this channel. Um, but the note says, hey, John, Series 2 of the Giving Back Mystery Packs, variety packs are here. So series 1 sold 100% positive feedback. A nice donation to the Alzheimer's Association. So, very um, noble cause that you're donating to. Thanks to everyone who helped out. The Series 2 charity will be Feeding America, and the product will consist of the Giving Back Mystery Pack, which is this box right here. We have five newer cards, five older cards, five hits. They're all in top loaders. Sometimes you don't always see that. I've seen mystery boxes that literally people toss the cards into a box unprotected and... <laughs> Ridiculous, but it happens. Hall of Fame pack, Hall of Fame rookie card, and a Hall of Fame uh, auto slash relic. Either of these can be slabbed. You will also receive two extra slab cards, new and old. Out of packs, at least two newer and three older. Most will have more. Bonus items, at least one extra pack. Tops exclusive packs, blasters, autograph items, and many more. So there's a lot of stuff jammed into this box. The price point is 200 bucks plus $10 shipping with $50.00. Donated to Feeding America. So 50 bucks of every single box is going to this cause, which is freaking awesome. Here's the eBay item number. I'm actually going to list that down below. A uh, direct link to these boxes so that you can purchase them uh, conveniently. But and down below it says, I also include a preview of the upcoming The Giving Back Mystery Slab Packs. These will be 25 bucks each. And $5 of those sales are going to charity. And they include, we went over that already. We'll rip into that here in a second. Packs and cards will vary. I also include a thank you pack. Feel free to do whatever, whatever with all the items. Thanks again for everything, John. Keep the past alive. And thank you, Aaron, for sending this and um, for your generous contribution to these charities. It's freaking amazing. Uh, we have the slab pack. Well, right, let's open the thank you pack first. And we'll get on to this last because it seems like there's going to be the most stuff in there. But the thank you pack. Inside of here we have a bunch of random packs. And there's some pretty awesome ones in here too. Ones I've never opened. So we have... 07 Gaudi, Black Diamond from 2000. That's pretty sick. 03 Upper Deck, Classic Portraits, one I never even knew existed. Look at this, Upper Deck X from 2009. That's freaking amazing. I've never opened any of these, I don't think. Fleer Avant from 2003. We got some singles in here. Oh, man, look at that. A Greg Swindell on-card freaking auto. I don't know if that was a TTM or in-person auto, but look how beat up that 87 Donruss rookie is. I can't say that I have... A Greg Swindell autograph rookie. Obviously one of the original omens on this channel because of a 92 Donruss case break I did a long time ago. I kept calling, pulling his freaking Diamond Kings cards and they were driving me nuts. And now I have a huge collection of them people sent me <laughs> over the years because of it. We got Tom Seaver from uh, Quaker Chubby Granola Bars from the early 80s. That's actually from 1986. So they made those for quite a few years. Patchworks from 03. I want to say I ripped a box of these. A while back, Donner's pop-ups, the oblong-shaped cards, Floyd, what the hell, Floyd Bannister Opeachy with all kinds of crazy printing errors that I'm absolutely obsessed with, never seen a card like that ever in my life, but I love it, there's some uh, cardboard supports there, and a Terry Pendleton, what happened with these, my only guess is that, uh, the gum seeped through, and this was a direct result of it. So the only thing I can think of over the years, these were like, I don't know, there's only a few cards in a pack of 88 OPG, but the gum in OPG in general was just always awful in comparison to Tops. I feel like it just ruined all the cards over the years, but that's the only thing I can think of. Moisture, something like that happened, but I, regardless, 
I love those. That's pretty freaking awesome. Double headers. I think it's the very first year of double headers from 89. And I haven't opened one of these in a long time, so we're going to do that right now. And uh, you have Hurst Scheiser advertised. It has a rookie and it has the 89 Tops card. And baseball buttons. Got a bunch of those. Uh, there's a checklist on the back side. Let's see what we have in here. I feel like I kind of like these as a kid. I remember having a Glenn Davis when I was younger. Look at that. That's a good one, too. Kirk Gibbs is 81 Tops rookie, and there's his 89 Tops. Pretty cool. If any of you guys haven't seen those, double headers. Remember those being out when I was a kid. That was actually the year my brother and I started collecting. was 1989. The baseball buttons, I'm going to save those for a rainy day. Same with the pop-ups. Um, patchworks. I'm going to save these all these packs for another time, I guess, because the main focus is the mystery packs and seeing what we have inside of these. So uh, let's rip open to this one. This is going to be a preview of what's to come. The slab pack. But thank you so much for the uh, the freebie pack, man. That was awesome of you. Very, very cool of you, Aaron. All right, so the slab pack. We have a slab, we have a single, and we have a pack. So there's not really any easy way to do this. So the slab is going to be Hun Jin Ryu. That's a rookie card, and that's a version I've never seen before. It's a PSA 9 2013 Hun Jin rookie, the knee up parallel. So, or I guess photo variation, I should say. That's pretty freaking awesome. That is one I have not seen before. Definitely kind of an oddball one, too, and a PSA 9. So very cool on that one. Knee up, parallel. We have an autograph in here. It's going to be Oscar Gonzalez, top's finest on-card autograph. Definitely a nice-looking card there, Oscar Gonzalez. 2023. Very nice. And we also have a pack to go along with it. It's a pack of 2023 USA. Southern Stripes, 10 cards per pack. I've never opened one of these yet this year, so let's see what we got inside of here. If I get the pack open. So these are 25 bucks. They donate $5 to charity for feeding America, which is an, a very noble cause to get behind. And it's probably going to be a bunch of names that I'm not familiar with, but let's check them out. If I pass over anything um, prominent, let me know. Noah Franco, Ryan Bruno. Nice looking cards, though. Kind of a chrome gloss to them. We have something inside of here. It looks like a relic. Chase Bentley. And Ariston VC. That's a, not a name I'm familiar with. It's a sticker auto and relic. That's pretty awesome, though. If I open one pack and pull that. Let me know uh, if you are familiar with that name. But uh, interesting signature, too. <laughs> it just looks like it says Avery. Very nice. Nice hit right off the bat. Wyatt Langford uh, parallel here. Cameron Tilly. Townsend. Louder and Bryce Eldridge ends that pack. Not too many names I'm too familiar with in there, but uh, comment down below. Let me know if I passed up anything. But for 25 bucks, that's what you get. And $5 going to charity on that one. And I guess that's a preview. I don't know if they have those listed or not yet. But again, everything will be linked down in the description. Let's check out the Giving Back Mystery Pack. This is it right here. And inside of here, we have our checklist itinerary. So we went over most of this stuff already. You're going to have five newer cards and top floors, rookies, prospects, older cards, of Hall of Famers, rookies, a hit pack containing autographs, relics, numbered, including one of ones, SPs, and case hits. You also receive a Hall of Fame pack that contains one Hall of Fame rookie card, one Hall of Fame autograph relic. Either can be slabbed. So, yeah, it's basically saying the same exact stuff we went over already, so I'm not going to take up too much time on this. But 41 packs made, 40 plus one for a preview. Chase J-Rod autograph baseball bat. That's freaking amazing. And there is the price point, everything else. If all boxes sell, it's a $2,000 donation that they're making to feedingamerica.org. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact his email at the.gbmp at gmail.com. So it says up top, do a good deed while getting something great. So very, very noble cause here. Let's see what we have inside. We have, whoa, look at this. There's a bonus Doc Gooden jersey. Check that out. Wow. That is unexpected and freaking amazing. And it's signed and authenticated by JSA. Wow, that is incredible. Holy crap, I was not expecting that at all. Doc Gooden authenticated jersey. Wow, absolutely astounded already. And we haven't even looked at everything else. Put the box up to the side so we can get a feel for what we all have. A bunch of packs. Jeez amazing so the giving back mystery pack 
I don't really know what order we're going to rip into these, but uh, maybe we'll save some of these wax packs for a little later. So we have inside of the gold pack, we have a Hall of Fame rookie, um, one Hall of Fame auto relic, and two slab cards. Pretty fat pack there. We have our singles in here, all in top loaders, it looks like. Let's go into this first. But very nicely packaged up. This is the one I showed in the mail day last night that had the stitching, the baseball stitching tape on there. So here's what we got. I'll put these upside down to try to keep the suspense going here a little bit. I see Ad Adrian Beltre's first tops card up there from 98 tops. Very nice. Beltre, who's definitely heading to the Hall of Fame. Brett Saberhagen, rookie card from 85. Fleer is a nice one as well. Reggie Jackson, 78 tops. We got a 62 coming up in here. It's going to be Sandy Koufax and Drysdale. Wow. Very, very nice. And a Reggie Drakes from the early 80s starts to pack off. Jeez. I don't know what else to expect now. Um, here's the newer cards. All right. Some of these I may need a little bit of help with, but uh, we'll see where we get on that. I see a Bobby Witt starting it off, sticking to the tape there. Bobby Witt rookie card. That's going to be from Bowman's Best. It's the one I've not seen before, but uh, you can't go wrong collecting Bobby Witt. Definitely nice. O'Neill Cruz tops Chrome. That's the Stars of MLB insert card. It's his rookie card. Spencer Torkelson from Bowman Invicta. It's definitely a very nice one as well. Check that out. J Rod. And this is a tops, some sort of top certified card, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to need a little bit of help from Bowman Platinum, apparently. But uh, very, very nice one also. And we've got an Adley Bowman Chrome Prospects to end that pack off. Nice stack of names there. I will tell you what. And we have a hit pack. Stargill Parallel, the 81 Tops design. That one is numbered out of 175. Very nice way to start things off. A Kyle Young on card autograph. First Bowman Chrome. Another nice one there. Braden Shipley on card auto from Optic. And check this out. A triple relic. It's numbered out of 36. 36 of 36. Glass now. Blake Snell. And Brendan McKay from Triple Threads. Another very nice card there. Check that out. 2020. Glass now, Snell, and McKay. And Mauricio Dubon ends this uh, team bag on card auto with a 52 design from Topps Chrome. That's anniversary. It's from two years ago, 2021. So I'm blown away by what's in here already. Let's... Uh, I don't know if we should do this one, save it for last, or open some some wax packs here. Maybe we'll open a few of these. You know what? Probably save a couple of these. The 91 Fleer 88 Donruss. I've opened a lot of that in my time, so what is this? Whoa, this is one of those Christmas packs from 1977. That is pretty freaking amazing. you got George Brett, Big League Bros, George and Ken, Rick Russell and Paul. <laughs> that is a dorky card right there. Yeah, these are freaking awesome. I, I'm not going to open this because uh, I will keep this with my sealed stuff. Uh, that's I love that. I don't have any 77 packs like this, and uh, that will just display really, really cool. But nice surprise there. 77 Christmas rack. Love it. Let's open 96 Stadium Club. I haven't opened a pack of these in a long time. Series 2. Looks like we got Robbie Thompson jumping around on top of the pack. Been a long, long time since I've checked these out. It's kind of when I was... About to leave the hobby for a long time. 90, 97, actually. But uh, shortly before. Jim Edmonds, Lofton started off. Frankie Rodriguez, James Mouton, Charlie Hayes, Scott Cooper. What do we got here? Oh, John Wetland. Those are cool looking cards, though. Check this card. There's Chris Hoyles for Corey's PC. I'll put that one aside for him and Bobby Jones. So the first pack down the hatch. We have three more we're ripping into. We got Diamond Kings from last year. Eight cards. You got Mantle on top of the pack. And uh, we'll get into that gold pack and see what awaits us in there. Honus Wagner starts it off. Goldie Abreu. There's a name I'm not too familiar with. And an insert card that I've never seen before either. But pretty stylish looking card nonetheless. Gavin Sheets rookie card to follow that one up. Insert. Castellanos, a Trey Turner artist palette. Those are pretty cool cards. And Rodolfo Castro rookie card. So, nice pack from uh, 
Panini there. I like those ones. I haven't opened too many of those. Topps Chrome, and we have 2019 Series 1. I remember Kyle Tucker rookie card being in here. I don't think who else was in Series 1 that year. Brennan Lau, maybe. And Tucker was pretty much the big one. And feel free to shout at me if I forgot to mention somebody else. Jose Ramirez. Didi. Kevin Gossman, we have Whit Merrifield, 84. Design. Dynamic duo. Barrios. Corey Seager. Shoop and Mondesi ends that pack. So not really any rookies in there, but uh, you can't win them all. Let's see what we have in 2022 Chrome. Last year's Chrome. I haven't opened too many of these either, but uh, the 1953 design, very nice. Shohei Otani starting it off. Can't really go wrong with him, even though he's injured right now. It's unfortunate. Montero rookie card. We have George Kell. Pretty legendary name there. And Jim Tomei. So that was a nice pack there. Very nice pack. Let's see. Uh, I'm still blown away by this Doc Gooden jersey. That is freaking amazing. Absolutely epic. And uh, let's see. what We still got more to go through. This is the last thing to open from the Giving Back Mystery Pack. So Hall of Fame Rookie, Hall of Fame Auto, a Relic, and two Slab cards inside of here. And uh, again, Aaron, thank you so much for sending this my way, man. This is... Uh, very awesome and very cool what you're doing with uh, the proceeds. So that's what we got inside. Nice of him to kind of cover it up. So to not give away the surprise elements, cover up on both sides. But this one got given away, and it's definitely a good one. 83 tops, Ryan Sandberg rookie card. There's an iconic rookie there from the early 80s. Very nice. Love that card. And uh, inside of here, let's see what else we got. There's no way, easy way to do this. But uh, I guess we can do it this way. Luke, oh, Luke Appling autograph, and it's authenticated by Beckett. Wow, that is freaking amazing. Luke Appling, uh, obviously, Hall of Famer, passed away, and this is a card of his I've never seen before, but uh, that is freaking absolutely amazing. Hall of Fame Heroes Luke Appling on-card autograph, authenticated by Beckett. Very nice piece of uh, baseball card history here. Freaking awesome. And baseball history in general, uh, Luke Appling. Let me move this off to the side a little bit, so our pull on the, into the, the, the shot so you can see it. Wow. So that's the first one, Dad. We've got two slabs inside of here. We'll do it this way. I kind of almost gave it away. No easy way to reveal these. Let me pull at least pull the second slab off camera without looking at it. So we got Lois Roberts on card autograph. Oh man, it's a PSA DNA Gem Mint 10. You have no idea how bad I wanted this card when the craze of Lois Robert was going on. I wanted this card so freaking bad, his first Bowman, and I never got it. And at one point, I feel like the paper was like a hundred bucks, and I was like, I waited too long. I'm not going to buy it now. And I'm not sure what it is now. I'm sure it's a, a lot cheaper, but I, I never end up getting this Luis Robert. And here it is in a freaking PSA DNA uh, slab, Gem Mint 10. That is absolutely amazing. Luis Robert, I think he's going to have a solid career ahead of him. That is awesome. Wow. Absolutely astounding. And the second slab in this pack, it's going to be an older card. It's going to be a PSA 5, 1970 tops, Rod Carew. EX5 in a newer PSA slab. That's freaking awesome, too. But uh, very nice stuff here. So, again, the Giving Back Mystery Packs. And I still had a couple of packs, too, I didn't even open. And uh, all those freebies he tossed in so generously. We'll open those at some point. I'll just do a random pack rip video. But check it out. Robert Autograph, Gem Mint 10, Appling Autograph. Authenticated by Beckett, PSA 5, Group 1970. A stack of rookies, Hall of Famers, autographs, relics, and a Doc Gooden autographed jersey that's authenticated by JSA. Absolutely freaking amazing. So, again, I'm going to link these down below in the description, make it easy for you to go check out. And also check out feedingamerica.org. Again, every single box, $50 goes to uh, that organization. It's an awesome thing you're doing, and thank you again for uh, sending this my way to showcase on this channel. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you guys for watching. Go grab yourself a box, post 
your videos on YouTube for us to see as well. I'd love to see some other boxes and people ripping these and obviously an amazing cause. So thanks again, guys. Check them out down below on the website. And uh, I'll see you guys all back tomorrow night for a uh, baseball card auction. Have a great night, guys.